we're not gonna give it all to you right now. It's gonna be in seconds. And snippets. We're gonna snip it. So oh, then you're gonna want some more. Just chop it up some more. Yeah, I mean, because we're moms, so we can't do this forever. I can see. I mean, talking. I already tried having my daughter in the vicinity, and all she did was try and climb on this camera. So mine's yeah. over in the corner, back scooting. Just, she's so chill. Some back scooting. Yeah. There's my. I'm so. I'm just so tired because I had um, appointments today where we were just seeing two houses, two properties. Yeah. Okay. From two to four thirty. Tell me how wow. that two and a half hours works. Wait, didn't you say they were also late? 30 minutes late. I think I want to do a segment on just like, what did I say? It was just the mystery behind why real estate's time isn't respected or realtors time isn't respected. But it's like, I I don't know if there's just, if people just don't think about it. And you know what? I got some good feedback on it on a way to avoid it. So realtors out there, I have a good idea on how to stop people from always being late and ruining your next appointment and you having to figure out some 30 minute buffer time between make up some lies yeah like to the next agent yeah yeah. i mean it's it's never ending but you know what the the advice was we're meeting at x property at two o'clock text me when you leave because i will not leave my house until you leave because you know we're local like we're usually closer i've actually done that before if i know a client's coming from san diego which 